Hi, I'm Joyce Ross and I'm here at the Meds Conference in Orlando, Florida today. And I want to talk to you a little bit about something we've introduced as a new topic, and it's toxic metabolic encephalopathy. A lot of words, a lot of big words, but what really is, is the body responding to triglycerides that are high, cholesterol that's high, glucose that's out of control, and high blood pressure and other things that happen in the body that cause an imbalance in the hormones or any other functioning of the body. The important thing about this is that many patients who have the type of thing that we talk about here at meds are those people who are prone to perhaps develop this problem. We have to think about the fact that we look at our patients who have heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, and we think about the fact that, yes, they're high risk for stroke and they're high risk for heart disease, but they're also high risk for this kind of a problem when things are not under control. We talk about trying to get good control. We know it's not easy in some of our patients to get good control for all of these issues. So we have to be careful and we have to watch. As NPs and PAs, we have a special chance to really look at these patients and see them when they're doing well so that if there are alterations or changes in their mentation we can pick it up more than other people do these patients don't always know that they're changing they don't know that they're really forgetful they're not making good decisions or they're not able to make decisions they might even be having some problem with swallowing or speaking and sometimes there's not family members around to help us with that either. The hallmark for this process is really about changes in status and changes in uh, how the person acts. So it's the drowsy and confused disease is what we call it. And the good thing is that if you address this early on, you can completely reverse the problem. The hard part, if it gets away, there's a chance that you will not be able to get the patient back to where they were before this occurred. That makes us really responsible for making sure that we look at changes and think outside of the CNS. We always want to think stroke, we always want to think of those things, but this can be equally as difficult for our patient. So high-risk patients with type 2 diabetes, type 1 diabetes, heart disease, stroke, dyslipidemia, and hypertension are at high risk for the development of this very unusual kind of presentation that we call TME. And I really hope that this helps you to think about the idea that it's not always what's the obvious there. Think outside of that box. Take home messages for this. Observe your patient. Let them talk to you. Let them tell you how they're doing. Observe them for the changes that we talked about here. And then treat them aggressively, meaning treating all of their issues that caused the problem, getting them under control so this imbalance will go away. Thanks so much.